Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this short video, I will show you how you can transform the standard configuration of the MyLinuxWork.Files for Hyperland from this into that. Let's jump in. So we are here on the Hyperland desktop with the MyLinuxWork.Files and we want to configure this installation a bit. I want to customize it. First of all, let's change the wallpaper. Let's select for example, this one, and maybe try a wallpaper effect with right click on the wallpaper icon here. We can try a wallpaper effect, for example, let's try the Negate Brightness 60. And then it looks like that. this is a very dark. Maybe we can use this effect on another wallpaper. What about this one? Yeah, this looks very, very nice. Okay, then let's change the Weber theme to the white version. Now we are here on the white version of the Weber theme. Let's open some terminals. I want to remove the border from the windows and I can do this with the Hyperland app and I can remove the border here completely by setting the border size to zero. Now the border is completely gone and let's increase the gaps in to 20 and the gaps out to 40 Yeah, to, to give the windows a bit more room. So this looks already very good. And I want to design this desktop a bit more minimal and I will hide some modules from Weber. I do this with the dot files app here on the first screen status bar. I scroll down and I will remove the window module. I will remove the ChatGPT module. The network module is not required because I have a permanent connection to the internet. And yeah, that looks already very nice. And I will reduce the number of workspaces to three. Yeah, to three. Here we are. We have three workspaces. The fifth is now currently visible because here I have OBS Studio for the screen recording. Okay, this looks very, already very nice. And we can also look at Rofi. Rofi is currently here, have also a border size of three. I will remove this border size as well to zero. And now the border is also completely gone. This looks good. And I want to increase the blur effect for the windows. I do this again in the Hyperland app. I'll scroll down to the blur section and I will increase the blur size and the blur passes. And I have a stronger blur here in the windows, in the terminals. Let's put here that window into the floating vault and decrease the window size. Looks also very nice. So I think we can close here that window so far. And let's see how it looks like. I like to test new themes when I'm in the floating mode. Oops, here's OBS Studio. Hello. In the floating mode, very nice. Okay, let's change, for example, the icon theme here on Nautilus. To do this, I want to install another icon theme with Paru hyphen S Yaru icon theme, for example. Yeah, it's working. I will choose the number one and I confirm the installation with yes. Review 
and yes, password is required and the Paro icon theme will be downloaded now to my system. So the installation of the Yaro theme is now complete and let's try to activate a Yaro icon theme. You can do this with the application NWG look or GTK settings, which has been installed with the my Linux for work dot files. And now let's see when we click here on icon theme and here are all the Yaru icon themes now available. And you can see which fits now from a color perspective, good to your wallpaper and to your overall look and feel. Let's see what I will choose. This one could be work, apply, and you see that the icons have already changed in Nautilus. Yeah, that looks already very nice. Let's try another one. Something, yeah, with a bit more color. Here, magenta. All right, let's keep this icon theme for now. Very nice. Let's close it. And the icons are also, of course, available now here in Rofi. Okay, very good. Yeah, that's it for now. This is the transformation to another look and feel with Hyperland. Let's open, for example, Firefox maybe on top. Let's set it to the tiling mode, increase the window width, and you see how it looks like. In my opinion, it looks very modern. You can also try it now with a new wallpaper. Let's scroll down a bit and try this wallpaper, for example, the wallpaper effect will be enabled. Also interesting, yeah, and when we bring it here and close that window, it looks also very good. Yeah, that's it. You see a lot of customization possibilities are available for you with the mylinux for files Have fun with it. And that's it. You see that the mylinux for work files for Hyperland are very customizable. And have fun with all the possibilities of that desktop environment based on the dynamic tiling window manager Hyperland. And with that, see you next time.